Hello everyone, this is Venom, and today we're going to be doing some speculation. Now, we've been going over some Prismatic builds for the new Prismatic subclasses for the Hunter, Warlock, and the Titan. These are, of course, coming out with the final shape. We are also going to be getting the special class exotics that will be rolling with random exotic perks from a pool of known exotics. Now, what we're going to do today is go through and we're going to actually speculate what perks are potential that we're going to be getting in them. Now, of course, we know of six perks that were shown in the Vi Doctor talked about it. Uh, and of course, I showed the Reddit post earlier. I will link it down below again. But a Redditor went through and they actually went frame by frame and checked to see what all popped up on screen. And they saw a bunch of effects that came from some, from some exotics as well. So we've got that list as well. So we got a bunch of confirmed perks already, but we don't know them all. Now, the basic rule that all the perks seem to follow is that they're going to be neutral perks. They're not perks that are based off of any super, and anything that seems to involve any kind of class ability, they've changed it from that specific class ability to just class abilities in general. For example, he talked about having two dodges. Um, he got an exotic that gave him two dodges. That one seems more like it would be two charges of your class ability. Now we don't know. It could be that it's actually two dodges. It could be that the classes can roll from a pool as well as their own personal pool for their class as well. We don't know. So until we know all the actual rules as to how these exotics work, we can only speculate right now. However, we can go ahead and rule out some exotics. So I'm going to go ahead and say which exotics we likely will not be seeing added into the pool and which ones we will be seeing. So again, neutral ones more likely will be in the pool. The ones that are very ability specific or even super specific likely will not be in the pool. So let's go ahead and start off with Titan and it's going to be the insurmountable skull for it. It says arc uh, melee kills grant health and melee energy. You could very easily add this one into the pool. So I'd say this one's probably going to be in there. Uh, Mask of the Quiet One, gain ability energy when you're damaged, when critical, heal on kills. Again, a very easy one to add into the pool, so this will likely be in there. Next up, we got the uh, Capri's Horn. Solar kills recharge a solar blast barricade. Now, I doubt this one will be in the pool. This is a very, uh, a very ability specific one. Unless they change the, unless they change the blast barricade to something else, then I don't, I don't think this would be in the pool. So, unlikely to see Capri's Horn in there. Uh, Helm of Stain 14, this one works specifically with a Ward of Dawn, so again, unlikely we're going to see that one. Now next up we've got the Internal Warrior. Uh, Warrior. It says, Causing Fist of Habit grants, or Casting Fist of Habit grants an overshield. Our Final Blows, Final Blows, I'm sorry, I can't talk. Um, grant Weapon Damage, and today is going to be another somewhat unedited video too. It's still very late at night, I'm watching my son, so I'm getting what I can done, so forgive me for that. You're going to hear me stutter a lot but um it's unlikely we're going to be getting the eternal warrior now again it is possible that we are going to be getting roles that are class specific however um titans do not get fist of havoc for their for their uh, arc ability they actually get thundercraft so it's not going to be possible that they're going to be getting that one because uh fist of havoc is not an ability anybody's going to have so it would not make sense to have that uh next up we got now don't get me wrong you could also make it to where any super will work with that but i don't think they'd go with that they could but i doubt it uh, next up, One-Eyed Mask. Highlight and defeat those that harm you uh, for an overshield. Uh, this could very easily be one that, so you PvP players might want to watch out. This could very easily be one that not only the Titan can have, but any class can have. So think about that one. One-Eyed Mask Hunters. Think about that. Yeah, start early. <laughs> think about that. Um, Precious Scars, Revised Grand Overshields. Easily, easily in the pool. Uh, Lorelei Splendor, uh, create a sunspot with improved solar restoration when critically wounded or on barricade cast. This is one that could easily be tweaked. Uh, the, to work with class abilities and not just a barricade. So I'd say this is one that could likely be in there. In fact, I will say is likely going to be one. I think they will very easily be able to change that from barricade to just your class ability. I think this is one we're going to see, and I think it'll work the same way. Uh, next, Canvas Ridge Lance, uh, Landscape. This one works specifically with Diamond Lances, so unless it's going to be a class-specific one for the Titan, I doubt this is going to be one in the pool. Uh, ACDO feed, or Feedback Fence. Uh, melee hits grant armor charge and store explosive arc energy. Uh, very easily could be. Very easily could be one. Uh, Doomfang Powderings. Defeating targets with void damage grants a bonus to void weapons. Yada, yada, yada. Um, the first half of this one could be. The first half could be. And keep in mind, we're not getting the full exotic effects for our exotics. So, we're not going to be getting part of them. The first half of this one could be because the second half is talking about the Sentinel Shield. So I say we got the first half, this could easily be one that's uh that's part of it. But if it had to do with the second half, no. Uh, Synthoseps, we know for a fact this is one we're going to be getting because we already saw that perk, so we're not going to worry about it. Uh, Aeon safe, I'm going to go ahead and say yes, and every class has Aeon, so uh, it's very easily going to be a perk, I think. Which is also going to be, well, I'll talk about that one later, but the Aeons being one, I think will be really, really good if they are a perk. 
Uh, next up, Ash and Wake. Uh, improves fusion grenades. I doubt it. That would be one that would be very class specific because every class does not have access to fusion grenades. I think only the, the, actually, no. Um, nobody has access to fusion grenades. So, yeah, that's going to be a no on that one unless they change the grenade type. Uh, next up, we got the Worm God, uh, Karis. It says melee kills increase melee damage. Easily, easily, yes. This could be one that's in there. Uh, Ursa Furiosa. Uh, block damage to Sentinel Shield for more super energy? No. That's very, very specific to Sentinel Shield. That's not going to be in there. Now, Stronghold. This is one I'm excited for that I hope is in there. It says bonuses to guarding with swords. And I think my boy might be up, so I will be right back in just a second. And we are back. My son is demanding to be held right now, so he is getting his wish. He is, uh, half asleep staring at me, kind of with his eyes open right now while I'm recording, so, uh... Yeah, I can record as long as he's happy. So, um, as I was saying, Strongholds, this is one I'm very excited for. I really think that this will be one of the, I'm really hoping it's one of the abilities because I, I, one of my dreams is to have the Stronghold ability on a hunter. So yeah, this is one that would very easily be able to work. And I really hope that we get it. Uh, next up, we got the Sitten's Rampart. It says you and your allies can shoot through your towering barricade. This one is very time specific. I doubt it's going to be one we get. So we're going to go ahead and cross it off. Uh, same thing with the Icefall Mantle. It says your replaces your barricade with an overshield and grants a bonus to stasis weapon damage. I'm 50-50 on this one. This one could just turn any class ability into an overshield. Now, I'm not sure that's going to work with, uh, with Frost Armor. We'll, we'll see. But I'm going to go ahead and say this one is 50-50. If they do this one, they're just going to change the class ability or change it to class ability and not your, uh, not your barricade. So this one could be, but I doubt it. Uh, no backup plans. Shotgun final blows grant you an overshield. Very easily could be in the pool, yes. Uh, second chance. Improve your shield throw melees. No, this is one I specifically for Titan shields. And even on that, um, they do get the shield throw, but again, unless it's going to be very class specific, I doubt this is going to be one, so we're going to go ahead and say no for now. Next up, point contact cannon brace. This one says gain melee energy and create lightning strikes with thunderclap. This is one that is very specific to Titans, so I really doubt it's going to be available for the pool. Uh, Pyro Gale Gauntlets, burning Molly can cut uh, consecration, create flaming cycle or flame cyclone. Sorry, um, this is going to be hard. No, this is a very, this is a very super specific super or super specific exotic, sorry, and that is not one of these supers available. We get Hammer Soul, but I doubt this is going to work with it, so, or I doubt it's going to be in the pool. Um, no, it might, don't get me wrong, if we get class-specific, class-specific roles, this could be, but I doubt it's going to be. Uh, next up, we got the Crest of Alpha Loopy. This is more orbs from supers, casting barricade heals. This is one that could easily be changed to casting your class ability will heal you. Uh, there are some other... Exotics that work kind of like that as well, kind of like the worm, or not the worm cloth, I think it's a worm husk, uh, let's double check here, uh, hunter, the, uh, worm husk crown is very, very similar to that, so I could easily see that working, um, if they change casting barricade to using your class ability, then yes, I could see this one working, uh, and being in that pool. Uh, next up, we've got the Actum War Rig. Steadily reloads your equipped auto rifles or machine guns magazines. Yes, this is one I could see very easily being uh, in that perk poll. Uh, Halifire Heart. Create more sunspots, solar abilities, regenerate faster when super is charged. I mean, this is really just a straight up solar one. I could see this working. If we can use sunspots with other classes, I don't know if we can, so we're going to go ahead and say no for now. Um, if the other class, in fact, yeah, I think you can't do that because this is a very Titan specific ability. I don't think we can create sunspots in other classes. So, uh, I take it back. Um, the first part, no, creating more sunspots, I don't think it'll work, but the second half I could see working. It says solar abilities regenerate faster and super charge. That's one that not only can you work with solar, a solar super, but with any super, you could easily change that to, um, you know, stasis abilities. Recharge faster when you supercharge. So yeah, I think that one might be on, but only the second half of that. Armamentarium, second grenade charge. If this is not one of the available ones, or one of the available perks, I'm going to be pissed. This is one of the easiest ones to add to that pool. So you just gain a second grenade charge, very easy. In fact, I'm kind of hoping for this one to be one of them because we don't have Widow Silk for the Hunter. So I'm going to really be missing that second grapple grenade unless we've got this in there. Uh, Heart of Inmost Light, we know for practice one already. We've already seen the effect. Seventh Enclosure. 50-50 on this one. Uh, there's an effect that we saw that said, uh, powered melee final blows will ignite enemies. As either coming from this or it's coming from Calibrand's hand. Neither one read like that effect says. So it could be either one. We don't know. 
For now, I'm going to go ahead and say yes, because this could still work with any class. Next up, Curious of the Falling Star. This is one that I doubt you're going to have in the perk pool, unless it is class-specific for the Titan. Uh, other than that, we're going to go ahead and no, or say no, because this is for the Thundercraft Super. For Frost Z, this is one that you can't really translate to other... Two other class abilities. It says replaces barricade with a wall of stasis crystals. That's the one you can't really translate to, like you know, a a rift or a dodge. I mean, maybe I mean, you basically have to rework those abilities. I'm going to go ahead and say no. This is not going to be one of the ones available. Uh, Arbor Warden. Use your class ability. Grants a barricade grenade. Technically, yes, you could, but I doubt it. You could actually work this and put this in as is, as an exotic perk for anybody. Imagine a warlock putting down their well, and then immediately tossing out a barricade grenade. This basically would give the other classes a barricade. I doubt we're going to get it, but it would be interesting because we could essentially get barricades as hunters and warlocks. I doubt we're going to get it, though. So we're going to go ahead and say no, but it would be cool. Uh, Lion Rampart, buff maneuverability and hip fire, or air, hip fire, and lift. I'm going to go ahead and say yes. And if hunters get this, uh, good luck in PvP, is all I'm saying. Um, Peacekeepers, reload, stowed SMGs, and inst or allows instant ready. Uh, very easy, very neutral ability. I'm going to go ahead and say yes, it might be one available. Dune Marchers, faster sprinting and chain melee damage. Um, yes, I can see that one. And again, I'm seeing more PvP. Uh, with the sprinting, uh, this could easily be one that is in that pool. Uh, just a few more for the Titan. Uh, we got the Mark 44 Stand Aside Assist, safer shoulder charge abilities. Uh, do we have shoulder charge as the... No, we only have shoulder charge as uh, one of our abilities at all for Prismatic Titan, so this is this can't be one of the abilities. Um, and Teus Ward, Sliding Reflex Projectiles. This could easily be on any class, so I'm going to go ahead and say yes, it is a potential to be in that pool. Uh, Peregrine Grease, bonus damage on airborne shoulder charge. Again, this is a shoulder charge specific one, so I'm going to go ahead and say no. Phoenix Cradle, Solar Invictus lasts twice as long. Allies who pass you with Sunspots are granted Solar Invictus and Solar Restoration. We do not have Solar, uh, we do not have Solar Invictus for our Titan, unfortunately. We have Consecration, so I'm going to go ahead and say that this is not going to be available for anybody. Uh, Path to the Burning Steps, your stellar frontal blows improve weapon damage. You are harder to slow or freeze with Stasis. This is one that's not Super useful, but could e easily, easily be one of the the exotic abilities that we've got. And then finally, the uh, Abeyant Leap, Improved Dringer Slash, Gain Woven Mail when suspending targets. Now, Dringer Slash is one of the aspects for Titan, so if it is, if we get class-specific roles, then yes, this will be available. However, if it's not, then it's not going to be available, so. That is all of the Titan exotics. Um... Like I said, about 50, I'd say honestly about 60% of them could easily be added into the pool as is. If we tweak some of them, I'd say about 75% of them, 75 of them could be. There are some that are just too specific for, uh, for Titans and Barricades. There are some that are clearly specific that are only going to work with them. Like for example, the Diamond Lances. And then there are some that are only going to work with certain uh, aspects that we just don't have access to. So maybe in the future we'll be able to use those, but as of right now we will not be able to. So... Um, that's going to do it for today. Next time I will go over all of the Hunter Exotics, and then after that, the Warlocks. We'll go through them bit by bit. We're going to get all those done. Like I said, I don't want to spend too long doing this, because I do have my son in my arms right now, and he'll wake up any minute. I got to get him, uh, I got to make sure he gets his sleep in his bottle, but he's passed out right now. And he's looking up at me. Yeah, that's my guy. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys, for the Exotics. Uh, thank you all for coming by. Again, Hunter and Warlock up next. After that, I've got a Warlock build to put out as well later on in the week. Thank you for coming by. Please like the video if you like what we're doing. Please subscribe if you love what we're doing. If you've got any ideas as to what you want to see build-wise or any combinations of exotics you want to see for Prismatic, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you all for coming by, and I will see you on the next video.